boys. So Mark, you're the building owner here where they're going to do the mural artwork project. Tell us a little bit about how you feel about this project. I feel great about this project, <laughs> honestly, you know, because it helps the neighborhood and it helps me a lot, you know, I don't want to say it like that, but that's one half of the building I don't have to paint. Sure, absolutely. And uh, how long have you been here in, on this block, on this neighborhood? Uh, five years. About five years. That's great. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Mark. Perfect. Tell us, tell us a little bit about Gina's and what's going on right now. I'm with the Idora Neighborhood Association, and Gina's drive-thru is within our neighborhood, and um, it's been a problem corner store for us from day one. Um, his alcohol sales are attracting a very bad criminal element crowd into our neighborhood. Vagrants and loitering on the street, uh, drug dealing, you name it, many police reports. So uh, Gina's drive-thru has been a sore spot for us. Um, in Adora neighborhood, along with the YDC, we're banding together and we're working on revoking uh, Gina's uh, liquor license. And um, it's reached a point in uh, the legal process to where today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. And this is a historic day because it's 1230 in the afternoon and Gina's doors are closed on the biggest alcohol beer selling day of the year. So we've reached a landmark today and we're, we're, we're throwing us. You know, small party here <laughs> and with uh, with our uh, Dora work day, and um, I'll tell you, good things are happening. This gives us hope that um, this eyesore, this blight of a corner store in our neighborhood will be gone for good. So we're going to work on it from here, and uh, hopefully, uh, Gina's drive-thru is closed for good.